for our senior boys final. We'll have Travis Gaffney, Daniel Kova, David Jiang, Noah Patterson, Elijah Bain, Parker Levac, Nolan McGregor, Brody Penny, Nolan Bowie, Noah Smith, Nathaniel Sneed, Noah Nagy, Wels Wesley McMillan, Sam Prezio, Eric Mann, Maxime Moran, Liam Smith, Samuel Rohr, Daniel Og Ogilvie, Luke Feltham, Graham Tamori, Ian Thompson, Matthew Kometz, and William de Guyer contesting this senior boys 3,000 meter final. And as we saw with our girls, lots of familiar names here. Look at that line of athletes. It's just astounding to have this many guys on track for a race of this duration. But here we are. So lots of returning names from the 1500, from the steeplechase, and from the cross-country course. And they're away. So Travis Gaffney will wear hip one. He will start the inside of that pack and will try to find his footing as they make their way around towards the cut-in. Navigating that cut-in, she's on the outside there wearing hip one. Navi navigating that cut-in successfully is one of the hardest things to do. Gaffney was second in the senior 1500 meter yesterday, ninth in this event in the 3000 as a senior last year and comes away as the silver medalist from the fall in the cross country championships at OFSA. And he's got lots of experience at this event. He represented Canada at the Commonwealth Youth Games last year in both the 1500 meter and the 3000 meter. So he's going to be one to watch. And he is currently tucked in that pack up front wearing hip seven. I believe that's Kmetz. And then it's actually Liam Smith right behind him. So Adam, another athlete to keep an eye on in the mix here is going to be Liam Smith. He won the 1500 meter yesterday, looking to make it a double. Sixth at that Offset Cross Country Championship in the fall, and he is another athlete heading to the London Western program next year, joining their ranks. And uh, that's a, a tough double. You actually see some conversation, I think, happening on the track. We're seeing deja vu from the women's race. No one really wanting to take it on. You see Ian Thompson there sitting on the outside of Smith. And he's in a good position. Smith, a tall, powerful athlete, needs to be careful not to get caught on the inside rail and get boxed in. It's, it's a long race, but again, once that move happens, you have to be able to cover it. And look, again, a wall of people <laughs> running together as they approach the first kilometer mark. They're going to come through this opening 1,000 meters in about 2.55. So that puts them right around 8.45 tempo. The officer record set back in 1987, that was 8.20. Sorry, eight minutes point two by Greg Anderson. out of St. Michael's College in Toronto, continuing to lead the way. Um, 
Well, this 8.45 should be well within his wheelhouse. That's the time that he eclipsed in the regional qualifier to get here. Most of these guys should be fairly comfortable with this. Now you're just sensing that there is some movement in the front of the pack. I think these guys recognizing that if they keep the slow train going too long, it'll come down to a sprinter's race. And that will suit some of our mid-distance oriented athletes quite well. We've got Nolan Bowie in the mix. He was third in the junior 3000 last year, silver in the 2000 meter steeplechase yesterday. Along with Brody Penny, who we saw doing a good amount of work in the 1500, he ended up 10th. But not much of a change up front now as Kometz keeps just cranking things up a little bit with each stride. You see Smith looking around a bit there. I think just wanting to get his bearings, make sure that he is paying attention to where his out is. That's a lot of mental energy you can use. And there actually Smith moves on the inside. That's hard to do. And here is that move I was talking about. We wondered when he would turn up. Well, he has shown his cards now. Travis Gaffney deciding enough is enough. I'm going to take over this thing in earnest. Again, after that second place finish in the 1500 meter yesterday, we have gold and silver 1500 meter finishers from this weekend going head to head here as they make their way towards the two kilometer mark. And they have slowed a bit, so they're going to be about 545. Actually, that's bang on 545 through that second thousand meter. And it was all sort of in the last 200 that that injection of pace came. Gaffney now, and when these guys hit the line, they're gonna have two laps to go. It's gone from being a 10 man race to a two competitor contest. 6.18 on the clock with 800 meters remaining. So leading that chase back right now is David Jiang from Toronto's Upper Canada College, but they have some work to do if they want to rejoin our two leaders, Travis Gaffney in first and Liam Smith in second. And that's where the battle for gold lies right now. And Gaffney. that's where it lay yesterday, Adam. Oh, they're doing this battle once again. Gaffney ninth in this race a year ago. As a first year senior. And there you see a look back from Smith as he assesses the situation. Smith now trying to stay with Gaffney. And as they hear the bell, one lap left to go. It is Gaffney, it is Smith, and it is Luke Feltham now into third. And look at this turnover. Gaffney, after being beaten yesterday, he was bettered in the 1500. It's not over yet, but look at the difference in the turnover here. He is leaving the rest of the field in his dust. Eyebrows are high, just like his turnover. He's pumping hard for home. Excellent form in our leader. Finding gear after gear. Smith doing a good job of just staying in contention here. A look over his shoulder, but this is all. Travis Gaffney getting done today what he could not do yesterday. He is going to take gold in the senior 3,000 meter final. It was a slow race. He made the move. Smith went with him, but then Gaffney pulled away. He's got a gold. Smith will come across for the silver. 25 6 4 for Gaffney, 8 39 4 for Smith, and it is Felton who pick up the bronze, 8 31 9 1. Well, that's how you put your name on a race. Big improvement as a second year senior. 
from this time last year. And Gaffney, well, my goodness, tapped into a speed reserve we didn't know he had. For the record, that was approximately a 62 second final lap. That would be fast in a 1500. This is double that distance. Now that was partly thanks to a slow start, but still you have to be able to find those wheels and have a complete toolkit to draw from as we continue congratulating our athletes across the line. Good support in stadium for all of these runners. Gaffney denied yesterday and victorious today. Well, it was a big mess for a long time, and then it wasn't. In less than a lap, this went from a sea of runners to a sea of one with hardly anyone else on screen. Look at the speed across the line. Arm goes up. Gaffney thrilled with a brilliant finish in the 3,000.